hi guys and welcome back to my channel well on today's video we'll be learning how to draw a double rebecca zigzag lap joint and don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel wearing the best against the family posting no, the <laughs> so giving t1 equals to 14 centimeter that is written as 14 millimeter and we have our diameter is equal to 6 root t that is diameter is equal to 6 root 14 putting t there so we have is equal to 22.45 if you are permitted to give you 23 that m is equal to 1.5d and then everything will give you 35 approximately we have pitch is equal to 3d that is 3 times 23 give you 69 millimeters and then 2d 2 times 23 which will give you 46 millimeter and we have the um head of our river that's on my 6d and it's give you 37 and then our angle of chamfer is 15 degrees so let's draw so first of all we'll draw our straight line and then we know that c is equal to 14 millimeter okay so on that straight line we'll just put the 14 at the at the straight line the kind of middle point there and then we'll mark 14 up and then do the 14 down from the middle point so on that straight line we drew 14 down so we did for both sides too 14 up from, the, from that line and then 14 down then once we're done with that we will then join those two points so we'll join them together this way okay we'll join them up and down okay just make sure that this line is faint mine is thicker because i'm making a tutorial video so you can, can see it so after that at any point just put towards the left but not towards that towards, towards the engine but at least in the middle of the half of the whole thing and then draw a center line you know how we draw center lines long and short that is of equal length just maybe you can do a eye gauge stuff you get some um, so after doing that to do uh, we'll have to measure something now so i'm measuring 3d okay 3d because the distance in double reverted distance between two successful reverts is 3d okay okay so 3d that's 69 so max is 9 up and down and then we will draw the same center line too all right after doing that now we know that our diameter is equal to 23 millimeter okay 23 that is if we divide into 2 23 divided by 2 will give you about 12.5 so that center line now you that center line you drew now will be a middle point so you go 12.5 to the left and then 12.5 to the right so something up to 23 you get this is for the other side so from the middle line 12.5 to the rest to the left and then 12.5 to the right okay so you can still do the same thing too for the upper part okay and then place your ruler there get a um, set square for 45 degrees and then just draw those lines straight those points you mark draw a straight line and the second one should be imaginary because this is a zigzag um formation if it's a lap uh -huh. or so if it's a chain i mean to say this two will be virtual but since it's zigzag it will be one real one imaginary just take notes please what happened that we have that um our head is equal to 37 millimeter okay that's our head diameter mind you so dividing 37 by 2 you have about 15.5 no i mean to say um 17.5 so it's a metal you can measure 17.5 it's approximately 18 though and then pin at that middle point there okay and then draw a semicircle on top sorry that the video is behind the front of covering the video but just you can understand what i'm doing try make the semicircle kind of thick it will help you do the same thing too for the imaginary revert so okay all right so after doing that then we know that our margin is equal to 1.5 do we give us 37 i mean to say 35 so from the middle point of that rivet side of the rivet measure 35 to the right or the topmost line and from that side too 
Major 37 from the middle point on the last line. Okay. Now, after doing that, you get your um, protector. Remember, our angle was 15 degrees. Now, instead of going literally 15 degrees, you start from 90 and count 15 to the right, okay? So that will give you about 10, then 5. That was 75, okay? Uh, so my, just minus 90 minus 15 will give you 75. So you do 75 degrees and then you just join. Okay. Now for the second part, now you're gonna do the same thing too. But this now you are taking this protector now the other way around. Remember before we did this upside down, but now we're doing the other way around. And you mark your 15 degrees and then you join. Okay. And then you're just ticking the whole thing, just ticking the whole line, and then clean out the excesses. You can just put extra one cm for the other side. Okay. Now I want to draw the top view. That like there, there is that part where you have the circles. So with I just keep an equal distance, equal distance downward. I use about five. You can use just keep a reasonable distance, please, but not too big, not too small. So I just pick a reasonable distance and then I just drew a straight line. Straight. Yeah. Try so making this line faint for now. Because we need to make it tick later. So the first thing is your margin. Margin is the first thing you're marking at the top view of your rivet. At the 35. So after margin, we look at the pitch. 69. So from that 35 point, you mark 59. Yeah, 59 downwards. Yeah, that's 59. Okay, I'm trying to elongate it because my one is kind of short, so I just mark 59. Okay, so I'll just I'll just show two rivet. Two rivet should be okay to show. You can show them as much as you can. It depends on the question. If they show 50, show the 50, but I'm just showing two. So I want to do something now because this is zigzag. I'll have to mark the middle points now of those two. The one by five I drew and then the 39, the 69 I drew. Mark the middle point and then transfer the measurement to the right part, that's to the imaginary part of the rivet. And then from that part, you now measure the pitch, which is 69. And mind you, the pitch is always 3D. This time between two rivets in the top view. I always tell you, this time between two rivets is, this time between two rivets is 3D. That's the pitch. That's the 69. And then you now measure 30, um, 37, which is the margin downwards. And we elongate this part, okay? And we get it down. And then get the other side to down. Although one part will be imaginary and one part will be real in this elongation. But I will tell you when we get or when we're done with this elongation. So let's elongate. First about that. Alright. After elongation is done. Okay. Now I'll go ahead and then taking this part of it. So I'll just draw that line straight. You see why I like to make my line faint first before taking it. It makes my work kind of look neat. So I was taking that part. Alright. Now, seeing this part. Okay, now from that point, I will take the radius of my head, uh, my revert head, take that same radius, which is 17.5, pin on those points that are marked on this imaginary line, and draw a circle. Please make sure this circle is as thick as possible. On all those points, mark draw circles and make sure that they are thick. Like very thick. Okay. That's the main reason why this rivet here is imaginary because it's kind of on inside, not towards the surface. Now, take this time between that part, okay, and then draw broken lines in the middle. That is the diameter of the, the whole diagram. And then draw broken lines inside the circle. Okay. So I'll go, go along and make this um, broken lines. Wow, you're joining. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. If you've really been following me up, please. I so much appreciate you, but please subscribe to my channel. Like this video. I still have more videos to upload. And please tell me on my DM. My WhatsApp number is listed on the screen. You can tell me a video you want me to teach you. Per, um, maybe I'll make a video on, and then I can upload the video. Maybe just for you, and they can also they keep the video just for you. So I'm done with the circle stuff. Blah 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 blah. And then we are getting to the 
the, this is the climax of the whole thing. So I want to do some um boldening on this part. Now listen, since this part here is down, it is not on top, it's under. These lines now will appear as imaginary. Why is it on top now? Play as real. Now watch. I know in in in, in drawing we depict imaginary lines with broken lines. Okay. So this part is down. So I'm using the broken. That is that angle part. That's why I slant is down. So it's broken lines. Why right, the one by the left? That actually left now will be normal line. Now this part, since this uh, angle side is up, so to be real, you can see it from the up, from the top, you can see it. So we'll just go with straight. Yo, 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 we are done. Why is my work looking so blood? Give me one second, please. Let me make it sense right. All right. So this has to look like... Don't mind my diagram. I was running short of space, but immediately after that second, that second, second circle, there down one, down one, close to this marginal paper. So just measure under 1.5D and then close it with a straight line. And then, kudos, you're done with this whole diagram.